fly away. That's what I'm trying to someday. Lord will, Lord will. Many to time, man. Many to God. I know we all have trials, so this ain't hard to understand. There is no temptation that isn't common to man. I know brothers in this truth told it more than I can bear. So I gotta step it up so I can lend a helping hand. That self-examination gotta prove the man inside. Say you want the kingdom, is you doing what's required? Is you putting more grind in the book at your job? Has your iron shop and iron? Are you teaching to your wife? Do you suffer sin upon us or rebuking in your eyes? Or make excuses to sin where the law should be applied? When the last time that you leave by five? When the last time that you pass? Out of fly. Is you walking in the truth? Do you really wanna fly? Huh? I'ma ask one more time. Is you walking in the truth? Do you really wanna fly? If you sitting on this knowledge, watch this time pass by. Cause me, I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. Lord will, I'm trying to fly. This is Officer Kimmy Way of Lions Den Radio Show, and I'm with Tashira. Hey y'all. Tashira. Okay, and we're in uh, Orlando, Florida, and we're preparing for our next topic, which is white privilege. Because you know, here at the Lions Den Radio Show, we do not ignore evil; we seek to expose it. So, Tashira, we're talking about white privilege. Do white people have an advantage over us? They have a lot of advantages over us. Yes, they do. Okay. Name some of the advantages that you've seen in your life that they have over us. Um, they can get money without working hard for it. But when it's time for us to get money, we have to work hard, like straw up floors, like slaver. And also, they got privilege because if the officers pull us over, us black people, they want to shoot us and tase us. But if they pull over a white person, they just tell them that they're okay or to just slow down and go ahead. But on the other hand, if it was us, it wouldn't be that easy. This coming show, we're going into white privilege. Omar, have you ever heard of white privilege? Not really. Not really? About it, but not, I don't have enough information about it. Okay. But I kind of have an idea about it. Okay, okay. So let me, can I get a little bit of background from you? Do you mind? Sure, I mean, it's kind of, Racism, but not really a racism. It's something similar to it, or just kind of, kind of racism, but not like complete racism. Okay, so now let me ask you something. When you leave tonight to drive home, you you drive? Okay. So when you leave to drive, do you worry about police jumping behind you and following you and like running your license plate? Oh hell yeah, I do. Yes, <laughs> really I do because. You, you know, they just sometimes stop you for no reason. It happens a lot of time. It happens to almost a lot of people almost every day, and that's something bothering me. I, I do worry all the time. Okay. You've been pulled over lately? Yes, I did. <laughs> In the front of the store, actually. Right here. Right here? Right here. Okay, In okay. <laughs> okay. Sloan, this is Officer Kimmy Wilv. The Lions Den Radio Show, and I'm here with Ovanti. Ovanti? Yeah. Okay. And we here at the Lions Den Radio Show, our motto is we do not ignore evil, we seek to expose it. And the evil we're exposing this week's show is white privilege. Does white privilege really exist? Have you ever heard of white privilege? Yeah, but not mostly. Like, I heard certain things about it, but I ain't ever tuned in to pay nothing attention. Him, so. Okay, so in your daily life, do you think white privilege has affected you at all? People I be around, yeah. Me, nah, not really. I don't pay attention, being honest. Okay, you drive? Yes. You ever been followed or had your plates run or pulled over and you felt like it wasn't right for you to get pulled over? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, when the cops get on me, I hop out and run. <laughs> you hop out of run? Yeah, I'm right. I don't got license. Okay. Well, you drive? Yes. You ever been followed or had your plates run or pulled over and you felt like it wasn't right for you to get pulled over? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. When the cops get on me, I hop out of run. <laughs> you hop out of run? Yeah, I'm right. I don't got license. Okay. I'm a, a, a Yeah. <laughs> now, you know we gotta have a license, right? We gotta obey the laws and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, okay. If a white man worked for one year, how much longer does it take a black woman to work to make the same amount of money? It might take us a long time. It might take us longer than a year. See, they can get it in a year. But it might take us a couple years to be able to do that. You're close. On average, on average, it takes the black woman 20 months to make what it takes the white man 12 months to make. So you see there is a wage gap. And a lot of times, sisters are making more than brothers. So you see the wage gap between, so that is a white privilege, isn't it? You said about being pulled over. Have you ever heard of what happened to Sandra Bland happening to a white woman? No. It has never happened to a white woman. And if it has, then it's probably just a crazy boyfriend. It's nothing like the officers did it to her. Okay. How about, you remember uh, Philando Castile? He had a gun, and he said he had a license to carry, and he went to show the officers, and the officers shot him. Does that happen to white people, as far as you know? It does not happen to white people. And if it has, then I need somebody to show me. Okay. Um, when you go to a bank to get a loan, let's say a, a business loan or a loan for a house or even loan for school, do you, get the, do you get the best interest rates or do you think you get higher interest rates? I believe I do get higher interest rates because uh, uh, the, it's, it's just the way the bank is depends on the person that's taking the loan, but probably I will get higher interest. Okay, so you, you say you would probably get higher interest rates. Okay, let's say you had to go to the emergency room. Do you think you would have to wait a shorter time, a longer time, or equal time to anybody else that's in the emergency room? I believe there is a difference. I believe that will wait longer time than everybody else because who I am. Where, um, where I'm from, or I'm not kind of people that will be uh, uh, the first to go, as they say. So I believe so. All right, so now, how about when it comes to housing? Do so-called black people, do we get equal housing compared to white people? Absolutely not. Why do you think that is? Because it's all just a racism comfort. Like, the whole world is so messed up to me that I just think they get more advantage than a black person. You, know? you say they get an advantage? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's the white privilege that we're talking about. Because, like, right here, we in Pine Hills, right? What's the nickname for Pine Hills? <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not from over here. Oh, you're not from over here? They call it the hills and stuff like they, that. They call it crime hills. You ever heard of that? Nah. Okay, okay. How about, what's it, Windermere? You know what Windermere is? No? Okay. Windermere is what, the g gated communities, right? Okay. So now, were, were you athletes, your entertainers, or a regular uh, dentist or a doctor that don't look like us would live? You, you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So there is a difference in the housing that we get, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, but everything is it's still like, it takes time to understand it, you know? So, But sometimes me, I just judge, you know? But I had to fall back from that. Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more question like I asked Omar. If you had to go to the ER, do you think that you would be seen sooner, longer, or the average time of anybody of another nation in the ER? No, I'd be a little longer. You think it would be longer? Absolutely. I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Why, why do you think that is? Because I'm black. You think they care? No. And plus, they're going to only go by your insurance. And a lot of times, we don't have health insurance, right? No, not at all. Now, is that a white privilege? Do you think most white people got health insurance? They got more benefits, stuff like that. So it's basically, they can go in there and just automatically just be seen. You know, they'll just go sign some papers, and they'll skip past a black person and go straight to the white man. Do you know that to be true? Yeah, for a fact. Seen it with my own eyes. Okay, okay. You know why they live like they do, sister? Why? Because we are God's chosen people. I know we've been taught that God loves everybody. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a, a white image of Jesus? I have. Do you know for certain 
if Jesus really looked like that? No. Okay. When you read in the Bible, Jesus is described as a black man with woolly hair. So now, one of the reasons that they have an advantage over us is we've been given an image that looks like them, and that image has been parked in our minds, and then we treat each other bad, and then they feel like they got the right to treat us bad. Have you seen that? Yeah, that's right. So we are the Israelites, and the curses that are brought out in Deuteronomy 28, when you get a chance, go home and read that. Deuteronomy 28 shows the blessings and the curses that will come upon us as a people. It hasn't happened to any other people. So in closing, there is good news that when Christ returns, the big black man returns, the kingdom like what we see now is a white man's kingdom is going to come back to us when we repent as a people and they will be our slaves. What do you think about that? Huh. I think I'd like to try that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you check that out, sister. All right. Deuteronomy 28. Again, this is Officer Kim Will, and I'm with Tashira. All right. And this is the Lions Den Radio Show. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.